So hello guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll cover this pre-assessment skill badge. You have to just click on start challenge. And for other pre-assessment skill badges, you can check the description box of this video. Now let's start the challenge. And if you're completely new to this channel, do like the video and subscribe the channel. Now just start the lab and just you have to open the console. Let me show you how you have to do. You don't have to worry for a single thing. Just click on launch. And now open the console in incognito window. Now here it will look like this. Just click on I agree and agree and continue. And you have to just open the big query. So just from here open the big query. If you are unable to see just search the big query. Okay. Just search the big query like this. And wait for it to get open. Now here you can see the project ID. Quick labs dot ccp 0000. You have to just click on these three dots. And create a data set present on the task number one. So just copy the name from here carefully copy the name just copy the name carefully paste over here and just create the data set once the data set is successfully created click on untitled query come to the description box of this video i'll share this repository just run the first query you have to run each query one by one and i will do this lab slowly so that you can able to understand how much time it takes for the lab to complete it may take longer or earlier also depending on your case so just wait for it to get completed Now once it is done, just check the score for this particular task and if you are unable to get the score, come over here and just run this second query also. So just follow, you have to just run one query, then another query. Basically here you have to run each query one by one. So just stay tuned, now you got the score. Now for task number three, just copy this. Click on plus icon, paste the query and let it run. It will take some time, so wait for it. Now here you can see the query is running, it will take again some time and then when you will see the green tick, then you will move forward to the next query.
Here you can see the query is successfully run. Now run the second query like this. And here if you don't follow the video carefully, you may get one kind of error. So do not worry. I will cover the error also and just follow the video as I am doing so that you are able to complete the lab. Otherwise, if you try to just do it yourself, you will get some kind of error. That's why I am saying just follow as I am doing. Now for task number 4. Basically, the task number 4, many of you may make mistake and get error. If you try to run this query directly, you will get one kind of error. Let me show you what kind of error you may get. So you will be able to get, sorry, it will show no model found, no model found. In that case, what you need to do, copy you this need to query and come over here and paste it. Okay, just wait a second, just refresh the browser once again. And if you try to run it again, you will get another error like this. So how to resolve it? You have to just copy this query first of all, replace it and run it. And after that, you have to run the fourth query. Then you will be able to complete the lab. Okay, you need to run this query first of all and then the GitHub one so that you are able to complete it. Here you can see, if you are doing that query only, you won't be able to get the score. You have to run. After you have to create the model, you have to run the GitHub query that is based on task number 4. Then only you will be able to get the score. So please follow the video as I am doing so that you get full score on this lab. Now once you see the model has been successfully created and if you try to check the score you won't be able to get the score as I said earlier. Come over here and from the task number 4 just copy the query and paste over here like this and run it. It will again take some time so wait for it. Now finally we have run the query and that's how we completed the lab. Do like the video and subscribe the channel. Now let me show you how you can claim the badge. First of all you have to just check the score and make sure you have scored 100 out of 100. Then just end the lab just end the lab and click on course you'll be able to see the patch let me show you how you'll get the patch so here a congratulation message you can see that's how I completed the lab